Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> Hello guys, hello guys, hello, hello. Are you there? We are here. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please come in, we'll see you. Thank you so much guys uh, for everyone who's here. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Please confirm if you can hear me. I can see all of you are here. Can you hear me guys? Are you here? Okay, so you can hear me, no? Whew. Yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Um, um, uh, welcome to the producer's talk. Uh, we are here today. Um, uh, chilled day. Um, it's relaxing. Uh, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see all of you guys. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. <clears throat> thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, the guys are here. Lebza, Lebza, are you here? I'm here, sir. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, hey, today, today we are Scrova. <laughs> Your network is nice and you are in a different location. Hey, uh, my brother. <laughs> yeah ish how's everyone there um are they coming in yeah the guys are here but the guys are here um yeah someone has already asked uh, to ask is label hitting us with the same vibes uh, last week or what's going on so uh, <laughs> uh, i know that you you they don't know that you are here actually some are seeing you um yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm here full on. I'm here full on. Obviously, uh, work has got me on, on, on a different type of lockdown. So, yeah, as you can see, the location I'm at, it's a work location. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, we can yeah, see. Yeah, the, the, you can see no, with the, the dress code. <laughs> yeah, the shirt says a lot, my brother. Um, I, think yeah, you are so. in a, I think you are in a big color season, so. Age man. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, everyone out there, worry not. I, I will, you will see me often in a later stage as soon as I'm done with this work. But yeah, hang in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Josie, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, mm. I am here. Um, yeah. Still loving Jesus, still trying to love people, and yeah, mm. doing the best we can in this very complicated world. Mm. How are you doing? Uh, slightly a bit tired. I was um, I was uh, uh, shooting today and doing some uh, couple of stuff. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, um, we are grateful. We are safe. We are here. Let's make this show happen. Um, guys, thank you so much. Uh, apologies there. I thought I, thought, uh, I saw that um, I was spotlighted while yawning. I'm good. Um, uh, Josie, we are unable to spotlight you. I don't know what's going on there on your side. Can you just please work on that? Uh, okay, guys. So Josie is still sorting out his network, but I'm here. We are grateful. We had an amazing show last week uh, where we were reviewing uh, <clears throat> a song and blah, blah, blah. I know all of you enjoyed and Lebza wasn't here um, because he had to attend to something. And 
two days. He's going to be in here just shortly because he needs to wrap up uh, a production. But he's here just for a short while for the stuff that we want to talk about. And then he will disappear. Um, I think we'll have a nice leave after next week or next week. Um, but we are here, we're good. <clears throat> Uh, we are here, we are good. Um, Libza, last week we were talking about um, some of the best albums that we thought uh, were changing, uh, changed the game when they came through. What's your take on that? Because you were not here. So you want to start there maybe before we let you go? Yay, yay. Where am I going to start? 10 albums, ah. local Local album, local Lo album. local albums. Just, just you don't have to mention ten. You can just give us five Yo. or, or four, Jay. That you think. Okay, okay. That... <laughs> I guess, okay, guess first DVD. Yeah. Um. Actually, the first two, the first two DVDs. Um, mm. The first two DVDs for me, they changed the game. Um. Mm. Um. um Joyous. Uh, from Joyous Three, yeah, Joyous Three was 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 a vibe for me. Mm. Um, you know, Winds Winds of Change. I don't know if anybody still remembers Winds of Change. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it was produced by this Mas I Mason, I think. Yeah, but yeah. It's an it's an old project. That project uh, changed the game for me. Um, and yo oh, man, I can't think of a lot of a lot of them on the spot. But yeah, those are some of the albums for me that really mm -hmm. changed my whole view and uh, perception about music. Yeah. And I think that's where I started even experimenting on a couple of things you know, from both a uh, uh, lyrical content, the performance side uh, of it as well. You know. Uh, the production because obviously they were uh, introducing a whole different vibe of a uh, level of production in all these uh, albums you know so mm. which of which uh, for example kk when it comes to live productions he was one of the first people that introduced it i mean there wasn't uh, people doing live recordings like they are doing now at the time mm. you know you would only mm. find kk joyas and benjamin dube i feel like going on project that one as well was the one that changed has changed mm. the game. So mm. basically, these albums, these are the ones that um, that that started the whole thing in the beginning. You know? mm. And obviously, then more artists started coming in. You know, so yeah. Mm. So I think I'd rather perhaps <laughs> post post a link of the rest, but I feel like they're a big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. You should do that, Baba. Uh, Josie, you you disappeared. You disappeared uh, uh, just before the show ended last week. So, but I think we'll go to that because you you we did speak about all the albums that you felt they were, they were there. So, um, uh, but you wanna hit two lines, Yana? Yes, uh, actually, I have a lot of albums in my life that I think are worthy of recognition. <laughs> um. I think the tricky thing is where to start. Uh, obviously, uh, Derek Nzimande. I don't. I don't have a specific album. I just think him as an artist. Big mm -hmm. things he did. Um, foundational work. Um, and then there's um, Rebecca. When Rebecca came out with her gospel album, yeah, I think she she changed the landscape in a big way. Uh, that this is way the songwriting that thing. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really really amazing and phenomenal and then uh uh joyous i joyous is hard to categorize because you had to say which one really did it because mm. a lot of them did it so it's mm. it's it's a project that a couple of them um uh, benjamin dube i feel like going on definitely mm. the historical Gabe shifting. Uh, and uh, Nandwini Christ Ambassadors, I mm. think, was really amazing. The first one I heard, actually, was was not the one that pe most people came to know them by. 
I, there's a there's a project called Sizwile. Mm. Yeah, that was the album that that introduced me to London Christ Ambassadors, and I think they did big things. Um, there's uh, Benjamin Duve again with the in his presence concept. That was a vibe. KK undeniably. Um, mm. Big things happened there. Uh, Winnie Mashaba in her own right did some very interesting things. And like I said, I'm naming a lot of projects. Uh, Kayam Teto's Uprising, the studio album. <laughs> that album shocked me when I heard it. So that was amazing. Uh, I don't know if it's weird to mention albums that I worked on. <laughs> so it's, it's like it's like you're assuming your album changed the landscape. But yeah, uh, I think Dumit did something significant when he came out with Love and Grace. I think Lebus Chovela. In fact, I don't know what was interest, what was happening around 2015, 16, but a lot of very significant uh, things happened there because I know, uh, you know, uh, there's there's a lot of interesting projects that came out of that era. But anyway, um, then there was those, and uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff and. I think, I don't know if it's too early to say, we'll see when things open up. It's, I think uh, Busi is planning to change the game <laughs> so mm. far. Yeah. He's been trending a lot. I was at a car wash and, and uh, somebody found his, the guy washing the car found her album in the car and like he went full blast on it. And from there, he asked for this for the copy. Like that was interesting. I hadn't experienced such a thing before. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. Of, oh, and there's also uh, Lusanda, uh, not oh, Peja, yeah. Lusanda. Yes, the the lady, Umama, Umama, Umama yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Uh, no, I think there's a lot of people who are contributors to the to the to to what South African gospel is. And I think if we pay attention and if we are diligent enough to learn from their strengths and avoid their weaknesses, the Lord can show us favor as a generation going forward and to start seeing. Um, and really just stamping our, our, our footprint or in the bigger scheme of things. Because um, I think it's high time now that we started projecting to reach the world, we've been we've hit the the, the ceiling as far as reaching South Africa. Mm. I mean, most people are filling venues everywhere right now. Yeah, uh, yeah everybody's projecting to do. Uh, I think almost every most of our leading gospel artists now can easily fill Carnival City without intercessory prayer. Mm. Uh, most of them can can do San Arena without thinking hard. And those are not small venues, by the way. I mean, but if 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 they can do that and show Okay, we lost Joseph there. Uh, uh, okay, he's still here, but he freezed a bit. Uh, uh, Aaron, can you just try and get hold of him? Okay, yeah, so you heard Joseph's list is quite long and um, and broad as well. Um, uh, okay, I, I'm not seeing anyone, so it's, it seems like I'm left alone here. Guys, can you see me? Can you hear me? I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. <clears throat> oh, okay, I'm not seeing you. I don't know what happened to, to, to Josie there. Um, okay, cool. So we'll get home, we'll get, we'll get him. All right, guys. Uh, so we, we, we want to start and talk about what I announced last week. Um, I know a lot of people hit me up on, on in boxes as well. And we're trying to uh, find out as to uh, uh, what is it that you, I was talking about when I talk, spoke about the, the singles and saying that we'll be producing singles and blah, blah, blah. So today we just wanted to give you like a full uh, scope and the whole idea how it's going to work. 
and um, and uh, we might have someone coming in who's going to be part of this um, just before um, just before we we close. It's going to be a short show, but yeah. Uh, I don't know. You still here? Yes, yes, yes. I'm still here. I don't know. I keep losing your your thingy. I don't know if there's something. Okay, it's cool. Let's get uh, Josie coming back. Um, I I see my my guest is here, but we'll we'll see him later. Um, uh, please please mute my guest so that um, nothing happens and nothing shows. Uh, so guys. Right, so this is the idea again. Let me give you the whole idea as to what is going to be happening in the next couple of weeks, uh, starting from tonight. Me, Joseph, and then uh, me, Joseph, and Lee. Yeah, me, Joseph, and Lebu will be um, will be doing our um, we're producing the the singles. We're producing um, the three of us. So if you come when, as, a, as a client and you want to be produced um, uh, by us, number one, we'll start from, let's say you are a new artist that is coming out. You want us to work on your album uh, uh, or no, not an album, a single. So we are choosing a number of people. For now, we're needing uh, about 10 to 15 people um, <clears throat> for us to kickstart. And so what is going to be happening is um, we will produce the song, the three of us, we will work on it. You being the artist, we will choose, I think to those who've been following on the producer's talk as well, you know that uh, pretty much all the things will be coming uh, uh, from our side. We will be making the decisions in terms of uh, the singers, in terms of the band, in terms of the studios, everything. So we will give you the, 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 the contract to sign and give you a fee as to how it's going to go. And then from there, you, we, we take it from there. We'll, we'll set up, um, you come over to the studio, sit down with us, we listen to your song, we work on the song, um, pretty much how we normally do uh, all the projects that we've done. Um, and then, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll work on that um, and the band comes with us. So the fee that I'm going to give you today includes everything includes everything so when you pay when you pay the fee you'll be paying for uh, uh, uh it will include singers it will include uh, the band it will include the studio it will include uh, mixing and mastering and the beauty of this thing is that we'll be doing a documentary as well of your session and um, uh, it will be recorded fully visuals and everything we're not doing a music video we are doing the documentary of the whole process, how it was working with us from, from, from day one till the last day. So we'll be going through everything, record uh, everything, literally like uh, um, um, how you do documentaries or these new famous things that are there. I think my documentaries are pretty little. You call them what? Um, uh, what are these shows? Um, I'm working alone, so I need to think if I forgot a name. Um, reality shows. The reality shows. So it's more like reality shows. We'll be recording everything. Um, and again, we will again come back here on the producer's talk and promote the, and promote the, the, the single. And obviously, you know that when you are linked with us, there's a lot of chain of contact as well that you'll be getting. The value, the value is there. Um, Someone is already suggesting that this is going to be hundred thou. It's not hundred thou. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, now we're starting with the studio ones. Um, uh, uh, we really wanna work on this thing and make it work really for you. And then, so I've announced if that you are a new uh, artist, uh, up and coming. Then, if you are someone who has recorded before and maybe you wanna change your sound, you wanna try different new producers or different producer, we are there to work with you um, and we will produce it. We'll produce it and make it solid, make it proper. And then from there, obviously you can go and rehearse with your band, let them check the song. And the beautiful thing about this whole thing is that in the process of that, 
if you are an artist that has already recorded, we are setting up a tone for you, like a new sound. So we, we don't have to really change what you've been doing. We can probably just tweak there and tweak there and just tighten it up and, you know, uh, put my eyelashes on the song, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So we'll really make it work, dress it up. Um, I mean, I'm sure definitely you trust us. The three of us really can, can make things happen. Josie, I see you are back. Um, I was just, I was just, uh, I haven't shared the price, but I was just telling the people about the whole concept of the yeah. singles, giving them the full vibe to say, look, it's happening. Uh, if you're a new artist who will give you a new tone, we'll work on the project, we'll make it work. Um, um, uh, 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 if you are a, a, a recorded artist and you have albums already, and you want to change the sound, maybe you want to try a new sound. And what's the new sound, guys? Remember, we're not talking about new age sound. I don't know what it's called, really. We're just saying maybe even, even within your traditional stuff that you do, you just want to maybe tighten up and lift and just up a notch your, your, your production. We are there. We want to really make it work. Um, um, uh, you know, tweak there and there. You know how it is. And I think our best project is the one that we're going to do now. Your single is going to be one of the best projects that we've ever done, actually, because all the other stuff is old now. Uh, Josie, you want to jump in there? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I don't know if you, you, you touched on the, the if my, my network is being interesting. I don't know if it's a network for, or a phone issue, but the Lord yeah. is always on our side. Um, okay. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I think, I think uh, had you touched on the intended documentation of it? Uh, yeah, I, I, I did. We can't spotlight you again, but I did mention that we will be documenting the whole thing. We are not doing a music uh, video. We are just yeah. documenting the whole process. Um, we yeah. are, we are, um, it's, it's, well, yeah. I don't know if, yeah, you, you know what I mean. You, you know, so, the whole basically, thing. so basically the practical value of it for, 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 for people who have been following producers talk is that we, we are basically trying to give you a breakdown of what goes into doing a production. It's going to be like a documentary, basically not reality TV. That sounds a bit sassy, but yeah. <laughs> so what, what usually happens when you, when you bring different productions, um, uh, if, if we were to focus at like doing a documentary focused on one artist, you, you kind of miss out on some details because, um, every artist is different and every artist brings in different dynamics towards a production. So basically mm -hmm. when I'm doing a production with uh, like Nezimu and when Koli is doing a production with uh, Lungindal or Pastor Suelu Machago, or when Lebo is doing a production with Nguevo, uh, the dynamics around that, because all these artists are different, are uh, very different and consequently as a result, it makes more sense. You get more value if you get to see the entire production life cycle through the lives of different artists who see production differently, who are doing different sound, who are who are who have different markets and are pursuing different goals, basically. So yeah, that's that uh, that's the fun part of it. That that I think I'm a bit excited about is the documentary side, and and I think people will enjoy to see the, the entire life cycle from, from the conceptualization to the initial meetings, to the conversations, mm -hmm. how we think around the song. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lebo is network today is fine. Then Josie, all of a sudden his network is acting up. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I think it's time that we shoot from the same place now. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, guys, pretty much, Gay, I think you, you understand the vibe that will be happening. Um, and uh, okay, he's, he's back, just trying to sort himself out. Sort, sort yourself out, my brother. Um, uh, I think pretty much you have an idea of what is happening. It's really going to be an amazing project for, for each one of you. And um, look, we, we, we understand that uh, maybe some people haven't been working and, um, be, you know, uh, because of this pandemic. Um, um, 
uh, but we trust a lot that even our fee as well, it's not too steep, uh, maybe for some, and we trust that God will, if you know that this is your time and this is your year, uh, we are just providing, we're just making sure that we meet you um, uh, at the altar and we make sure that this project works and um, the price is really not bad. Let's not talk about the price now. We'll come back to that. Let's, let's talk about, um, uh, so, so I've, we've got a friend who's just coming in today, someone who's really strong in the Lord. Uh, uh, and uh, I think you know what I mean when I say someone who's strong in the Lord. And um, uh, uh, we, we, we're really excited as well to, to have him here. And um, um, we'll be talking about what we are working on. Um, 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 Josie, are you, are you good now? I'm not good, actually. Let me log out and log back in five minutes. Please talk to the man of God. He's going to... Oh, oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Um, um, we have a great friend, someone who's been there, and uh, um, I think he, that he needs no introduction. And I know some of you will be excited to really talk to him and ask some questions. He will be here shortly. We, he's just here and here to, to say hello. And, um, uh, and he's just here to say, look, we, we are starting with the project of the singles and he's part of it. And uh, the beauty of this whole thing, he's already, play he's already paid. I mean, he didn't even know the price. He just sent money. I was like, hey, now Mundu is rocking up now. So, <laughs> so when, when he heard, the, when he watched the show last week, so he was like, hey, guys, uh, let me be the first one, you know, because I don't want disturbance here. Yeah. And uh, so we are excited to have him. Uh, Mr. Prophet, Pastor Prophet, Bishop Prophet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Prophet KK, are you there? <laughs> Yeah, my brother. How are you? I'm good, <laughs> brother. <laughs> so I'm giving you, I'm giving you all the titles. I think you deserve them. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> how are you doing, well, brother? I'm good. You, I mean, you, you, you have all the titles. I think you've, you've really. I mean, you saw, you saw the show here last week, and um, um, I know that uh, we didn't tell you that we'll be review, reviewing one of your songs. But we knew that you are strong in the Lord and you're a great friend, so you wouldn't take it. To, <laughs> you wouldn't take it to heart. So <laughs> you you are you are always have a good heart, man. You know, you're just a nice guy. All is well on your side. My brother, all is well on my side. And yes, I kind of enjoyed the show last week, mm. and I didn't know you viewed me in that in that dimension. But. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> In fact, in fact, matter of fact, I was thinking about it today, and I'm like, so Oli was hoping I would forget that uh, I would want to work with him. He was hoping. This guy didn't want to work with me. Now, it only dawned, like, uh, he might not. What is this? But, but, but it, I just brushed it. I'm like, ah, you know what? It's crazy. Anyway. Yeah. So everything has been well, my brother. Um, yeah. God has been good. God has mm -hmm. been good. Um, everything works in, in accordance to God's time, and and, and I'm grateful for the time that I that I that I have that I've had, and and it's still a long way. It's still a long way. Yeah, it's still a long way. But I've been good. Yeah, we still have a lot of things to do. So I know that you are here. Yeah. So you're not going anywhere. Um, no, no. So 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 give me details. I mean, you you saw us say, talking about your uniform. You you know, we really went in, man, and. <laughs> No, I, I didn't really, even mind. We really, we really went in, but I mean, it was all for a greater purpose, where we show people some some things that they are not looking at and that we are looking yeah. at. You know, um, that vibe. Well, I didn't have a problem with that because, after all, um, you know, the music industry is always evolving, always mm -hmm. evolving, mm -hmm. and always growing, and. I, I love criticism. You should know I love criticism. And we've worked together. Mm. Uh, there would be at times I would present a song like, ah, prof, I know. Mm. <laughs> you 
you know, <laughs> and, and, and most of you guys that I've worked with in the band have changed most of my songs to the direction you are feeling. And, and I was, I've been always an, an open book towards that. So uh, I learned, I learned, and um, I know what to do now. Uh, I know what not to do. <laughs> These reviews are very good. I know what not to do now. And um, I, I, I didn't take to, 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 to pain or to hurt what you said. Everything that you said was constructive criticism. And as you say, this particular show that you guys are doing is only for the strong. And, and I was thinking, I mean, so much has been said about me. What else can, can be said about me that will hurt me, you know? Mm. <laughs> so I must mm. just, and I know you are saying it from a producer's uh, a point of view, from an experienced guy. I mean, we, we work with big names. Uh, mm. You name Benjamin Duda, Solima Sawana. So you know what works and what wouldn't work. And for the person that I am also, I, 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 I'm very open to, to, to criticism. And, and I take to cognizance that it's not a criticism that, um, um, is is out to destroy you and yeah well nothing is meant to destroy you everything is meant to to to, to build you up it, it's, yeah. it's just a question of perception so yeah no okay. everything that you guys said i think for the strong guy should be able to handle it and grow from it yeah Okay, I think there's people that really don't know yeah. you. Someone, someone is asking who, uh, what is what is Keke's real name. So people, I think they think that is that was your stage name, and uh, no, oh, oh <laughs> and I'm thinking, uh, no, I think I don't want to. I, I don't think I want to entertain that. I think everyone who's here know the real name and the surname, and they know where you've been, and they know everything. I mean, uh, everything is written on, 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 on the on the Facebook. Some are saying they are not seeing the towel though. Um, yeah. yeah Love yeah. to see the towel right next to you there, because they know that you've always had a, a white one. <laughs> so, so um, I, sh- I don't know where to start, man. I think I have a short time with you here. We have a short time with you, but the s- things are starting to come in, guys. I'm gonna give you like five minutes. Throw in your questions. Prophet is here. We'll just bounce through them quickly. And um, and uh, I know that Josie is here now. He's trying to sort out himself uh, so that we can talk about the thing that we wanted to talk about. Um, but le- le- tell me about you and uh, and Joyous. I mean, most of us started seeing you, Joyous, uh, when you did Joki um, Muslolo, um, uh, uh, but obviously others, we knew you from other things like your Redeemed and the other groups. Um, but when did the, the whole career happen for you? When did you feel like you are doing this professionally now? Um, yo, hey, totally. It, it, there's a lot of uh, uh, facets to this. Obviously, I started in church. Obviously, um, it, I, it got discovered in a school choir. And I was made to sing that note at the school competition. I took uh, to recognize that. And obviously going to uh, Zoe Bible Church, finding uh, Pastor Benjamin Duda, who's now Bishop Benjamin Duda, as a worship leader there, mm. and being interested and getting interested in that. I used to follow Love Africa Choir, uh, which is one of the oldest choirs that Bishop uh, Benjamin Duda, everywhere they went. And joining the church choir at Zoe, being part of the Zoe Gospel Singers. And you grow from that. Obviously, um, you want to develop yourself. You want to grow yourself. It, it extended to Redeemed, being part of Redeemed. It extended to being part of the Zoe Mass Choir. It extended to being now Joy Celebration. And just celebration, I went to theater mm. with Umoja, you know, yo. And, and then realizing, okay, I'm growing. I, I need an identity. And, and there was a gap at that time in the music industry. As you know, Joyce was more English and Zulu. And on, on, on the Stutu side, there was not much more. And we had icons like Polish Alaba, uh, Semi and 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 the likes of the Mbong and the gospel uh, gospel wagon. Mm. So, <laughs> so 
that was the identity of 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 the Sutu gospel industry. So I, for me, I saw a gap. Mm. Mind you, I was born in Soweto, yes, in Musutu, um, but I did not know a lot of hymns. And once I discovered that I'm strong in hymns, I I capitalized on hymns. Something happened every time I sang hymns at church. And so I saw a gap there. That was not original me. I mean, I was in Cheryl to fame. I competed in the R&B, a contemporary side. Um, is it 97? Yes, 97. So there was a lot of r and I saw strength in, um, in, in singing Sutu hymns. Something happened in me when I sang Sutu hymns. Um, from Umoja, I had already decided I want to do my project, but you know, you have needs, you have need to take care of some things. Somebody's okay. uh, my my brother is calling me so I'm sorry so for that sentence. Okay. So these yeah. things are happening, and you need you have got kids here, so you have to do what you have to do. Meantime, working on what you want to do. So that that was that was me in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the spirit music showed up. Uh, spirit music showed up, and I did all the projects that I did with spirit music. And, and the vision there wasn't just recording. It was to create an empire of which I, I cannot talk about now. Uh, but we started mm -hmm. with a TV program that was gonna grow to a radio program that was gonna grow to a foundation and then the award ceremony. So one name was gonna be carried throughout as, as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it I moved from that. Um, into wanting to grow this thing that I had in mind, maybe mis misunderstood them, um, misinterpreted them, or not properly executed or properly explained. And I thank God I did not. And so I moved out so that I can grow what I need to grow. And I don't care how long it takes. If it takes 10 years, I'll wait. But I, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do at the right time. So basically, this is why I am. Um, take your time, move away, um, create this concept, don't be in a hurry, it's not about fame, but there's somewhere where we need to take the South African gospel music industry. Yes, uh, we, we have to be skillful, yes, we have to be uh, uh, grown up and, and take it on a different level, but my mindset, my understanding of, of, of the industry, we have to grow more into the business side. Uh, and, and own what we couldn't own. We, we already own a talent, we already own a business, uh, 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 IP, but let's own the systems. You know, I, I was worried about that. And I said, we, 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 we are the poorest in, in the industry compared to those who own the systems we use. Mm -hmm. and, and that was a worry to me to say, how many of us own a darn company? How many of us own systems that other systems need and and this is this is the space that i'm in i don't know if i'm i'm you know, off, off track but this is why i started this is where i've been and my mentality was not to create artists and and a big choir with celebrities and all the stuff it was to create an empire which has empires in that that would change the narrative of the gospel industry somebody is owning the, the systems we use to, to sell our music. And, and the question is, why is it? Why aren't we thinking beyond just wanting to sing, wanting to be seen, wanting to release albums and songs and hits to going beyond it? And, and I don't know if I'm, I'm to him, but this, this is, this is yeah. where I've been, this is where I am, this is where I've been through, and this is where I am. I don't know if I've, I've answered that. No, you've given me more, actually. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna ask the other question. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm just seeing, I'm trying to go through the questions as well. I know that this question is just that now I feel like I don't, I don't want it to go a different route, a route that I wouldn't like it to go. But um, people, people still love your albums and uh, they still, some I know that they're struggling to get hold of them because they're not on, in stores. Um, I know you're probably still working on that uh, unless you have a different information for me as to 
uh, when will they start to get your albums to those who are not finding them? Um, some of the projects, as you know, um, the IP, no, 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 the, the base card projects as um, were belonging to Spirit Music. Yeah. And, um, well, I will not go into the details because we, we have a um, silent disclosure of, of the current discussions that we have regarding the, 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 the copyright. Uh, but uh, th there is a discussion around that and because of uh, some of the issues that were not dealt with that we needed to deal with. I, th I think some were pulled out of, 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 of these systems because of, of the inquiry that is, that is pending. And um, yeah, so soon, obviously, well, I, the stuff will be working on. Uh, I'm saying soon, obviously, the stuff will be available. So it's just Jay, uh, the process uh, where you guys are still just if, working on. Yeah, yeah. If if not, if not, we will redo. We will redo what we need to redo on an improved level, and and put it back on the system and put it back online. You know, mm. I own the songs. I mean, not own the copyright. That's what they say. Uh, but I own the song, so yeah. I can redo them, I can improve them, and, and, and that's, that's a whole good thing about having your own IP, um, yeah. is, is you can redo your songs anywhere, anytime, and even better. So yeah. I will re -put, I will put whatever I need, I can put back, um, yeah. but yes, there are some stuff that is already there. Red Revolution has uh, three of my projects although they were done under very distressful times and I just wanted to get over and done with it and, and just put something out there to say, I've been working. Yeah. I will uh, uh, Josie, are you, are you back? I'm still trying to go through all the questions because there's quite a lot of them. So I need to. Uh, Bring it on, bro. Bring it on. I don't know if I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I um, think, um, let me be humble for now. But I <laughs> find the questions. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Prophet, there was an album. I think people maybe didn't get that album. You remember there's an album you did with DC that was just piano and voice. I think was, that was your first project, the brown one. I was still, uh, I think I was at that time, I wasn't the MD as yet at, at Bishop's uh, uh, church. I was, I just arrived actually. But I remember you did a project that you would, it was like, just the piano and voice. Do you remember that album? Or so you quickly with Restoration. 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 Yeah, Restoration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
and then 2003, because between 2001 and 2004, I was uh, in Swaziland. Um, mm. I, I produced the first live recording of the country with Redemption Mass Choir. Um, working with Nkoska uh, Zilambigisa uh, and, and the rest of the guys in there. Mm. Um, and then coming back from Swaziland in the, in the three year gap, I went to Moja, I think for one and a half year mm. from Umoja and then restoration. Mm. So getting into Joyous, just to answer your question, getting into Joyous, um, I think I, I was somehow at, uh, at the privileged position because one, um, as I was a musician in Zoe Bible Church, now and then you would do, you would sing. Linda Lani was attending church at Zoe, Mtunzi, yes, now and then. But then we had uh, Langa Dube was playing drums, a prophet, mm. Apostle Langa Dube now, who was yes. playing drums for Benji, who was now attending Zoe. Mm. And before the announcements of the audition, I already knew about the audition announcements. And at that time also, I was working, I was a backing vocalist for uh, Bishop Benjamin Dube. Mm. Um, and during that time, I was told about the audition. I attended the audition, but I think around that time I was already earmarked by by Linda Lani, uh, because now and then I would I would be singing at church. So, with the advantage to know them knowing that I'm also working with Benjamin Dube, I think it gave them the confidence of my understanding what the music industry is all about. But yeah. I went through the audition like everyone, um, respected the process. Already, uh, although you, you go in knowing you already mm. been here, Mark, but go anyway, you know, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, when you go to court, you know, I've won the case, but you just play along with the, with the judge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, your worship. yeah, that's what happened. I, I went, I went through, through the processes, first segment, second segment, third segment, boom, I was in. And, um, one of the most, uh, 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 uh privileges I've had is to do a song that was done by the late uh, 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 Prophet Nezimu. And Linda Lani said to me, listen, um, this is Nezimu. This is how he sang it. I want you to give us your version of, of the song. Mm. And by the way, I auditioned with a super song because everybody was coming with I Believe I Can Fly. Everybody was singing me songs and stuff. So I said, ah, I'm going to be different. I'm, I'm doing a super song. No one is doing super because I've been listening. So mm. I, I, I did a super song. So I was earmarked to do you know, the super songs um, uh, during the time that I was with, uh, with Joyce. And it was, it was quite an enlightening time I do not regret that time, it, it, it felt good. I learned so much in a very short space of time. And, and Linda Lani, Jabu, um, Tunzi have, have been uh, of, 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 of great value in my career, including Pastor Benjamin Dewey, I will not forget him. You know, they have been of, of great value in my life. Uh, where industry, where career, where grooming, where developing is concerned. Mm. Yeah, so let's let's talk the years of all the albums. You had uh, restoration in in two thousand and one. Am I right? Two thousand five. Two thousand five. And then yes. uh, your first. Remember, there was a four year gap and a one and a half year with Umoja. So two thousand five, I did I did uh, restoration. And then the second album, the first DVD. Two thousand six, I did revival. Yes. Um, yeah, and it's, it's so amazing that in, in that time, I did not qualify to do a live recording. Remember, uh, Bishop Benjamin Dube was the one I found in Spirit Music. He, he already had, I feel like, going on and for every mountain. And it just, um, I think there's a project he did at, at Verts that I, I featured in as a backing yeah. singer. Yes, I remember um, that one. Yes. Um, when I arrived in, 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 in the industry, he is the one that actually was, was qualifying as, as a live recording because he was, he was going gold. He was going. Yeah. So yeah. 
it was grace again. Again, it was grace. Because I remember Aubrey saying to me, I'm taking a risk. I think you can do it, but I'm taking a risk. If this doesn't work. So I had to put everything that I got to do, maintain the life recording to the next project. So revival was a test project. It wasn't really that we are going full force. Aubrey said, no, this is my budget. I'm, I'm not going beyond this. And you'll have to squeeze everything in here. And mm. yeah, we did the things that made the pots to be done to squeeze everything in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revival was recorded 2006 to be released in 2007. Mm. And then in the hype of the 2007 to 2008 early, we planned living testimony uh, because now it went gold in less than three months, revival, went gold mm -hmm. in less than three months. And I think the excitement of saying, okay, it's working, let's plan the second one. And the living testimony was planned executed and between living testimony and holy of holies we had again Piso, we had spirit of praise one and two um and and then i i was busy with one gospel presenting also there was a a a, a tv program i did with etv Mm. Um, was the cause spirit of praise? Yes, it was the spirit of praise, and I was doing um, uh, with one gospel, it was Keke in his presence with Keke. Yes, and then I did Holy of Holies, uh, but it, it was it was after uh, you know another wake up call in, in, in my mind where, where IPs and, and, and copyrights were concerned. So I, was already, I knew I was already on my way out when I did uh, uh, Holy of Holies. Mm. And mm -hmm. which, was the, which was quite a, a big production mm. as well. I mean, it had, you went full in there because I mean, I remember the band, the singers, and it was quite a big project that one, I remember, yeah? Yeah, it was, although I felt like I, I left my Fans, I went to a head because I, I literally, if you check the, the Holy of Holies and Living Testimony, there's a huge gap and a huge difference. And I felt I did not grow gradually with, with my fans because it took longer, even though it's for me, it's the best projects I've, uh, project I've done. It took longer to sell. And well, I will not go into the other ones. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other things, but it yeah. took long to sell, and it, it, partly because I would repeat what um, is it uh, the the who uh, says uh, this this lady Koza said to me when you shock the 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 market the market will shock you, so I I think it, it I I literally went seven years ahead, and I lost everyone because it, it shocked everyone. It was a lot of dance. I was doing a lot of dance moves. It was different. You know, I didn't play it with a click, what you call it, uh, yeah. loops. Yeah. So to me, it was strange, although it was good. You know, we had you, we had Sabu. Um, I had um, uh, uh, brought U U Mike Asimwe uh, mm. from Swaziland, uh, of which I'd worked with him in a lot of projects in Swaziland mm. when I stayed there for, for the three years I stayed there. And so I needed a revamp. And, and the reason was I knew I'm coming out. And, and so I, I needed to create a, another trend of a market where dance gospel, gospel getting younger and, mm. and, and looking hip, you know, and that was, that was my intention with, with Holy of Holies. And, and, and truly speaking, I just, I just uh, made a decision to, to, to move on uh, uh, from, from where I was. So I, I was literally already out, but creating a trend with, with the last project that I was, I was given at, at the company that I was in. So to me, it was, was that kind, kind of change and, and kind of journey. And, and then immediately 20, 2010, I did, not I did not release 2011. 20, uh, 2010, I released 
Ah, uh, no, sorry. Hey, I'm confused. 29 was Holy of Holies, which mm. went to, with through 2010. 2011, I recorded again at Grace Bible Church. That was my first independent project, which I recorded two albums. I called it Spirit Unlimited. Mm. And we had Divine Victory, of which I released Spirit Unlimited video and mm. audio but I only released Divine Victory Audio um, it, because there were dynamics included there and, and, and I don't want to talk about it. Um, and then from then I started saying, Ahmed, you know what? Because of where I am and the space that I am, one needs to go back to the studio and mm -hmm. create another, another trend. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm not giving myself, you know, uh, 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 mentals to say I created trends, but I, I wanted to create another trend and of which we, we will talk about it a bit later. So th that's basically my journey. Now, yeah. the, the last project I did as an independent project, as an independent artist that was big was in Grace Bible Church. So I then con consumed everything or consolidated everything back into church because I was now focused on church and Kruger's job. So my recordings now were happening every after the conference. I would have a conference, a December celebrate, a celebration conference. And in that conference, then I would record either one artist, use my face, uh, put my face out there. And while people are coming, then we put this new artist, I recorded Duba which was my first artist. I recorded uh, uh, Pastor Louis, uh, he has a church in uh, Lachtenberg. And, and then I did the third year, we did Shakaina Choir. So with that, I would always record a double uh, a CD and DVD every night. I would do myself. That's where Throne Room came. I did it when, when uh, um, uh, Shakaina was recording. And then Reloaded was recorded, I think, alongside uh, Lewis. Uh, and then Duba did a, a recording on his own. I did not want to disturb. So in that process in the church, I, I wanted to, I was continuing also with my, with my vision to build artists. And, and, and they're all independent. None of the projects that I sponsored uh, that we kept for ourselves. I used the church's name. I used the church's funds. I used some of my funds to sponsor the artists, to sponsor my choir in the church and, and to develop them and to say, no, you're going independent. You're going to find, we'll find you a, 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 a distributor somewhere out there and you run your business. Dubai, you'll find your own distributor, you run your business. Louis, you'll find your distributor. I'll use my face. You guys have been serving in the church. I wanna invest back into you. And, and so this is how the other project, these projects that are with Red Revolution were, were birthed. But it was during a very, yeah. time and if you yeah. can hear they were not done properly they were done in a hurry it's because i did not want to involve myself i did not want more of kk in every other project i i and that's why even the shakana quiet does not even have my sound because i said to bongan mashaole who's um now with Vusinova, i think um yeah, i said yeah. to bongan mashaole create your own scene, create your own market, you know, don't follow mm. the KK, don't, no, here, create, create a market for Shakaina, create a market for the artists that you're producing in the church. And today is one of the greatest producers and I thank God for him, but th this is what we were building in, in Shakaina. So what I couldn't build because of a uh, lack of some systems where I came from and during my independence, I then took it into church and continued with the vision. And, and yeah, this is, this is where, where now my new story starts. I think I, uh, I have, I've answered um, yeah. everything, but the, if I said yes. anything. No, 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 you've given us the full, full bio. When we did, when we did, uh, was the choir called Shakaina, the one we did at Grace? It, it, but I remember it had a Galaxy of Stars kind of vibe. Um, was it just for, for, P, for PR purposes? So I remember you had a, uh, a newspaper involved. I don't remember the details, but you remember yes, when you yes. did, did that? Um, yeah, remember when I I left Spirit Music, Spirit of Praise, and, and I don't want to create issues here. I, I'm saying it from a clean heart and a good spirit. Spirit of Praise's vision was to grow the very same choir members that were in Spirit of Praise 
but we had to use the well-known names first, mm. like myself, Tapiso, Soli, Pastor Soli, and and the plan was, and the plan was the first maybe five years KK will head it, the mm. second ten years Soli will head it, the next five years, you know, we would have that that rotating, building each other until somebody who've been with Spirit of Praise, what, fifteen years, we would choose you and say, you know, you are leading it develop and to develop whatever we can see so i then decided to, to come out to then build it up from outside within not within the confines of what the company wants but within the confines of what i had envisioned it to be and and that's why in the process of galaxy of stars if you didn't know there was galaxy radio re uh, registered there was galaxy tv uh, registered we even you know tried to approach some of uh, one of the cell phone companies that was owned in Galaxy. Um, so the choir was called Galaxy because we, we wanted to build a brand that young people would identify with. Um, and that is not um, constricted to a particular company, but where we would source out artists. You know, I would have you Oli being part of it and you can produce anybody for any artist, but mm. part of that would come in and, and, and and become become a part of of of, of galaxy of stars. So, spirit of, galaxy of stars was spirit of praise continued outside the confines mm -hmm. of of a already concluded company that was that 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 we that was that we was under, and and so galaxy was that quiet. But things things did not work out well, and and there was a lot of politics. I, I think we we had infiltration from what I call the Egyptian season that, that was trying to infiltrate even where we were. So I, I decided to dissolve it. I focused on the church. I said, I've got young people in the church who are committed and um, let me then build this thing through them. And that's how Shekinah Choir came. So it was Spirit of Praise, Galaxy of Stars, and then we moved into Shekinah, Shekinah Mass Choir. Mm. All right. I think we've touched the history. Uh, we've touched everything on the history side. Let me remember one last thing. Uh, yeah. Josie, you want to jump in there? No, I think we can move to, to our, our season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, but at least... At why, least why, why we have him here? <laughs> yeah. I think, Prophet, I think it was... <laughs> it was... It was it was quite necessary that we, we touch on all of that because I know that people haven't been seeing you in a while. And uh, I think to some, obviously, you disappeared quite early when they were really, 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 really in love with you and they really wanted to see you uh, more often. And I know that still today you still have friends. One, two, I know that when you get on stage, even today, you you leave the stage, you uh, but I know that you have an energy that is beyond. I know things still there. You you've been doing big things. Uh, I've been seeing your recent shows, so it's it's. Uh, I just wanted to touch on the history as well, just for people to to know that you are there. And a lot obviously has happened, but um, it didn't shake you, Josie. Uh, let me give it to you with the new season that we are working on now and why the prophet is here. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have the right language to explain it and I hope the network won't let me down. I don't think it's the enemy. I think it's just the Lord preparing my heart <laughs> for the next level. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know what, what ground you covered, but... Um, in the in the conception we had the thing we spoke about in the beginning uh the documentary we're doing of singles uh so one of the initial ones that we are gonna do um is we're gonna be collaborating with prophet Pofolo to do his single and it's it's quite a heavy single um I don't know. Do you, do you want to tell us the backstory, Pro? Because <laughs> it's got an interesting story, the song itself. Um, uh, yo, I'm not going to give a lot of details in case somebody runs quickly to the studio and runs with their concept. Um, but the concept is uh, <laughs> it's a different trend. 
I'm I'm just gonna say this. Everybody has got a begging singer now. You know, Everybody I didn't want you to be quiet now. Prop, prop. You want me to go? I didn't want you to talk <laughs> about the concept. I don't want you to talk about the concept. I want you to tell the testimony of the song, <laughs> how the song oh. came. I, I think that. Yeah, that's the... my brother. <laughs> okay, yeah, especially with the song. Okay, I'll I'll I'll. I'll, I'll go into 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 it. Well, as you know, I was getting married to my wife, um, and things just almost went crazy. A day before, um, I was coming from the bank, and with your cutelegin, there was a mother boy like the Kulunya Nana Nukatelegin. I've got the money with me. I'm rushing because the uncles are waiting and all stuff. And um, something traumatic happened. The car got written off. And um, I wasn't really not in a hurry. There was a rain. There was rain. It was foggy. Uh, somebody didn't stop in there stopping in, 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 the, in the stop. And I was passing through. So, yeah. And in that process, um, Tomorrow I was getting married. I found myself in the hospital. Uh, but the last thing I remember, because I, everybody kept on trying to pull me out of the car, there's a smoke, and I'm holding Imai. And the last face I saw was my uncle. And I touched him to see if he's real, released the, the money to him. I was gone. Woke up the following day. I don't know how the negotiations went. Woke up the following day. My wife is talking to the doctors. You have to wake him up. We are getting married today, you know? Uh, to cut the long story short, the church has been waiting for us from 10 o'clock. It's half past two. We are still getting ourselves prepared. So you can imagine, I had an accident yesterday. We're supposed to be church at 10 o'clock. Things were just going crazy. And we, we made it, we made it to church. Uh, wifey couldn't do the makeup that she wanted to do. I couldn't do the things that I was supposed to have done. We walk in churches about around half past two. And I, after I walk in, she comes in. And before we say our vows, after the pastor introduces us and all the stuff, the prophet then introduces us. She says to me, remember, I asked you to sing for me before the vows but you know off the mic i look we i'm a chemical i had an accident yesterday so basically i'm still confused and then she says baby please sing for me and this is what your wife wants to hear and you are in that space so i just went good morning morning i have not sang the song before I have not written the song before. I have not heard the song anywhere else before. I just sang it right there, right away. I didn't know if the pianist was going to find me. Uh, nicely, Bobo is, is a good is a good keyboardist, so he, he he found he found me, and I went. Good morning, morning, morning. Good morning, okay, don't, Jehovah. Don't, don't, don't sing this and one. It's fine. <laughs> that that is the song, and that's the song we yeah. we do with the funeral. It has that attachment to say, I could have died a day before my wedding. And, and, and thank God we've been married five years now. I could have died on the day of my wedding. The AMG was written off, but hey, and that's the song that we're gonna to talk about today. <laughs> and there was a traffic fine somewhere, right? <laughs> On the way to the wedding. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, now the wedding is in Kronstadt. I was hospitalized in Belcom. And those of you who know the distance about 70 kilometers. So the other car is written off. So my wife comes with her Cadillac and everyone is already in Kronstadt. They are waiting for Makotien and Kwenyan. Makotien and Kwenyan are driving themselves to church, right? Okay, I had an accident yesterday, I'm driving again. 
we're going to a wedding. And then comes the traffic cop. Baba, uh, you are doing 140. Uh, and uh, I'm like, guys, you can't arrest me. But once I bend, I'm just released from hospital and I'm getting married. They said, you're getting married. Well, why are you driving yourself? Why is your car not decorated? Guys, my wife is in the car. You, you can't arrest me now. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know traffic cops, you know traffic cops. And, and it's national. They tell you, look, we don't write tickets. We arrest. We don't write tickets. So I said, they said, no, go fetch your wife. I had to go open the door. Wife, you come out with your white dress and all the stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, no, you're really getting married. So the other one says, is this the KK, the singer? Yeah, almost. you had an accident yesterday. So you are up from the hospital. Okay, sing for us. So I had to sing right there and be released uh, to get married. So I, we got a ticket. It's not a ticket as such, but uh, we, we got stopped for, for over speeding. Um, um, and yeah, it, it was just a, a crazy day. So from, from the yesterday to being stopped, almost getting arrested and not, you know, uh, um, um, going to get married, to getting married, yeah, it was, there was everything that could have stopped us from getting married on the day. And truly, uh, we saw God on the day. So when I sang that song, I think it, it was the Holy Spirit. And that's what I always say. I'm not a composer. The Holy Spirit in me writes songs. And whenever he sings it through me, I then work on it. And I think that's one of the songs the Holy Spirit sang through me when my wife asked me to sing. And yeah, I think that is going to be my first single. The song that became a testimony through it all, where I couldn't, God said, you can. And that's, that's the single that we're working on now. Yeah, so um, basically, essentially, yeah, we, we have limited spots, right, Tavete? For we, we we can't do a lot of these things. Um, no, we, we can't. Have, yeah, we can't. <laughs> it's 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 more it's more um, uh, a, a yeah a window of presentation that we we're trying to do and and yeah we haven't done a project the three of us in a while uh, so it's gonna be fun to. Yeah, and you'll get to see where we disagree and where we agree and where we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I, so, yeah. So, guys, 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 guys. Uh, in fact, in fact, I was hoping, I was hoping that today we'll do. You remember the the uh, on season one we did a a, a budget breakdown um, and uh, and uh, oh, yeah, it yeah, yeah. and it and it created a vibe and we never came back and uh, uh, you know work it on a, on a cheaper budget for some people and uh, I think it was a very quite a um, we were busy so we 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 just forgot about it I think we need to do that episode that where we we review another uh, um, uh, a budget. But guys, for this single, like I said, let me tell you what's in the description of the code. One, we, uh, there's musicians. I think I mentioned that. There's musicians, uh, band and singers. There's mixing and mastering. There's studio and, uh, and mixing, uh, the studio actually, and all the rehearsals that will be done, all of that. Uh, did I miss anything, Josie? Uh, then there's the graphics. The graphics. Yes, there's a the graphics as well. Yeah, there's a graphics as well. We will design, we will design obviously together with you as that as an artist at the time. We will work on the on the design of the 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 art the the single as well, the artwork. And this will be your single. Uh, we are not owning the copyright. It's your copyright. It's your song, but we are producing it. Obviously, you'll see the contract. The contract is ready. Uh, you just need to go through it and sign. So uh, the actual fee. Uh, uh, wait. I'm losing what's going on here. And also, I, I guess, think just to mention as you try to locate yourself there, mm -hmm. um, we, we also have a team of very competent songwriters. So it, 
it really is not limited to people who already have songs, uh, but it is, um, it is really people who, who want to do a, a thing right now. So there are, some people are songwriters and others um, are not, but we also work with very, very highly competent songwriters. So, uh, so yeah, if you have a song, if you don't have a song, if, and we do from compositions to traditional to the whole nine yard. Uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the vibe. Okay, Josie, what's the price? What's the price that you, you we ended up deciding on? So because I can see people are in suspense here. People are saying hundred thou. Uh... <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so uh, people think that I'm coming up with stories when I'm busy, busy pressing. Sorry, guys, something happened here on my screen, so I wasn't able to see through that here. Uh, uh... What do you think is the price? Yeah. What, do, what do you think is the fair price? I mean, let's decide it now. What, what do you think is the fair price? I don't want to ask Prophet because Prophet is going to say 1,000 and then the next thing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so ordinarily, um, I, I think the last... <laughs> um, I think the, the most recent code I did for a single um, worked out to... and just with me producing, not with everybody. It worked out to 43,700. Um, mm -hmm. That was inclusive of all those things, mixing, mastering, musicians, mm -hmm. studio. Um, yeah, the yeah. whole nine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, 43.7. So uh, <laughs> if you stretch it and you get, <laughs> If I try to squeeze you and Lebo in, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah, I, yeah. Because I, I think I think my last one because obviously it was negotiated. Mine was was I think it went to about thirty five thousand. Um, okay. And I'm sure I'm sure Aaron, this is not a shock. I mean Aaron is thinking now, oh, guys, what are you So. Uh, look, I, I think I think one of the other things that we need to explain to people is that it is. I always tell my artists that come to me to record singles and all of that. I always take tell them that it is quite expensive to do a single on its own. Um, it is uh, uh, because I'm calling people just to come in and, and do one song. And why don't I have everyone in the same room and then rather negotiate and then we do the whole album and then instead of spending forty forty three thousand to do a single. Why don't you spend uh, 100,000, 60,000 more, take your time and raise the cash and raise 100,000 and then record a full album, a studio album or whatever, however it's going to be negotiated. 43,000 for one song, uh, I know that it's it's only for the strong ones that uh, that we did their singles, obviously they managed to to really meet us there because they are strong in the Lord. And, um, but I think let's give the people their price, uh, a quarantine, uh, uh, a corona a corona discount um that i know that it i'm even i'm not even ready to say the price i mean i think this is quite a good price um um i don't you think it's a good price right i haven't spoken about it but i think you think it's a good price no? what do you think i don't know i don't, I don't know the price. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys uh i don't should uh, sorry uh joseph should i say that the the, the, the price Please, please say the price, man of God. Uh, okay. Guys, for all the things that I've mentioned, three, three producers, Oli Tabete, Joseph, and, uh, and, and uh, Lebo Murolo, and the studio, and the mixing, and uh, the band, and the documentary recording, and all the interviews, and all the relationships that are coming with all of that. We will do it for 18,000. 500, uh, 18,000 rands, 18,500 for, for the signal. And it's for a very limited space. Uh, I know that two spaces, uh, two spaces have been taken already because- uh, Actually, there's, uh, a, there's, a, <laughs> there's, there's other two people who- oh. 
<laughs> I swear it's good. Hey, I, okay. Nah. All right, guys. Four, ten, four spaces are gone. Yeah, four spaces are gone already. Okay, so we have only 15 limited, 15, 15 for now, for this first, uh, and it might be the last one uh, because of other projects. You see that we don't have labor today because there's a lot of work happening now. So for 18.5, you will have the three of us. We will produce the single, do everything. So what you need to do is to inbox, inbox on all our platforms. We will find you there. Uh, and send an email to the producers talk one at gmail.com. The producers talk one as in numeric uh, at gmail.com. I hope I have that email right. Uh, send an inbox. Send an inbox um, um, if you need the details. Everything is there. Uh, 18k, 18.5, 18,500. We'll do the single for you. We'll, it will come with all of those things I've mentioned. Um, uh, please, uh, let's not try scamming each other because I think you guys know that it won't, it won't work. We are quite... Uh, you know, to tell you a funny story, someone tricked me years ago. Uh, hey, Mara, maybe let me tell the story because maybe the person is here. Yeah, let me leave the story. Let me leave the story. No one is trying to scam anyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let me leave the story. Yeah, yeah, I must leave it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll tell you the story when you come to the studio. Guys, you have the price. We will give you, you I think we've spoken enough about this. Uh, uh, the first artist that we are working with, and we are starting actually from next week, uh, is The Prophet. We are working on the project. Uh, we've already started. Um, we've already heard the song, uh, but we'll be sitting down and um, uh, sitting down and just going through through that. I see people are laughing at the 500. They're thinking, <laughs> why, why didn't we round it off at 18,000? Trust me, uh, it is why a very... <laughs> yeah, why not 19? Uh, no one is saying why not 19. They're saying why not 18. But I'm just saying that 500 is actually well calculated. Believe you me, this is a very discounted price. Uh, 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 so come through. Let's do this. Don't worry about uh, all of that. Just come in. We will um, make this uh, a great journey for you. And I think I'm really excited about the profit as well. I'm really, 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 really excited. The song is amazing. There's a beautiful energy around it. There's a beautiful story as well. Um, we are we are ready. Um, yeah, Josie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think it's gonna be a vibe. Yeah, also looking forward to. I'm looking for, I'm just, <laughs> I'm honestly very excited about the documentary part of it. Uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's interesting because I think um, finally people will get to see the, the, the whole process and have a perspective into uh, the thinking that goes into the productions that we do. And uh, yeah, and hopefully it will give people value, not not just the ones who are part of the process, and not just the ones who have their productions recorded, but I think any anybody who's going to be um, able to see the whole thing. Is, and I'm yeah. also looking forward, I think, to 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 the to us doing a thing. Uh, it's yeah. been a while. No, nah, it's been a while. It's been a while. The last thing we did was Love and Grace, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, the heat, the the heat album, yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah, I think that was yeah, pretty much, yeah. So it's been a while. <laughs> Looking forward to Prophet Pofolo. I think that one is also a vibe. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's Prophet. It's I know that you. I I know that you are excited. I think uh, you can just share your excitement, but I think I know because we spoke about this on the phone, and um, we're looking forward, man. Um, uh, any any last two words before I let you go? Uh, one of the best things that I, I know is going to be a great uh, project is working with uh, your likes. I mean, um, um, Joseph and yourself, we've worked in, in different times and, you know, just a combination. Um, to me, it, it's it's what I have envisioned. One thing I love about myself is that when when I come up with a project, I already know who I want, and um, 
yes, there will be additions, but there's these key people that, that you know, these guys can execute what I want, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I've, I've been with you at different places. Mm-hmm. And people will think we have the because we have, we hear each other, you know. I keep the phone with you, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. So I am excited. I am excited, but mm. it has been long coming. And, and yeah. moreover, I have not been worried about, about the, the long absence because mm. I know what I have and it's not arrogance. I know what I have. I know what I carry, but I know the quality of people that I'm going to work with once I'm back. And there's no way I can miss it, you know? Mm. It's not arrogance again. It's a confidence in God, the confidence in the gift that God has given one, and the confidence in knowing I'm not doing this to prove to any musician or any group of guys that I can do it. I'm doing it for the glory of God. And I know for a fact that the songs that I sing are songs that are from my heart, from the experiences I have. And so... I'm gonna give it everything I got, you know, and 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 I must say this. I must say this. Much as I've done a lot of live albums, I'm better in the studio. You will know <laughs> when you hear it. No, I'm a man. no, I'm I not. Think, I think I think we can. I, think I, I we keep can it. But no, I, I in the can, studio. I think we can debate that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prophet, uh, for coming. Uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. Um, uh, uh, I think um, we had a long chat about this on the phone the other day. So um, uh, yeah. we, we are really grateful. And I had a long chat with, with, with Josie about it as well. She said, look, let's make it work. Um, and guys... Guys, if 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 then if you if you if you don't have a song, come through. We'll 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 look into all the stuff that you've done before, and we will find you a song that will fit you and and the sound as well. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, uh, we are ready. We've been waiting, and it's for a limited number, it's for a limited time as well, because we've got uh, other projects that are that we're working on as well. So this one, we are ready. If you are ready, I just got an inbox already. Uh, so I hope I hope it's proof of payment, not really inquiry, you know? Yeah, it looks like something like that to that effect. Josie, can we wrap up? I think we should. I think it's time. Okay. All right. Guys, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, um, we are waiting on you to, to do the things. The email is theproducerstalknumeric1 at gmail.com. Um, uh, and then um, you can still get all the in- details on, the, on our inboxes. There's people who are ready to reply to you and give you all the, the, the details right on the spot. If you have questions about this, please don't hesitate. Just inbox, we'll give you all the information. We are ready. Uh, We are just waiting on you to come through. Uh, And uh, we are starting anyway. So we've already started. Um, The train is moving. By the time this lockdown is lifted, uh, Josie, thank you so much, brother. Of course, you're right, Musna. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, no, so I'm afraid to. Uh, thank you so much, guys. It's a wrap. Let's see you. Um, we will see you uh, next week, Wednesday. We've got an amazing show prepared. Uh, we had to move things around and plan it nicely. Next week, Wednesday, we've got a beautiful show for you. Thank you. Come through. We'll see you then. <laughs>